Willie Moscone, the legendary pool player from the USA, would have loved this situation. Three matches left, and the Europeans need to win the lot for victory. Six Americans and six Europeans have been battling away over four days to see who has the best squad, Team USA or Europe. We're talking nine ball pool and the sellout crowds at the York Hall in the East End of London have seen the very best there is. The USA still needs just one win for the point that will clinch yet another triumph over a plucky European side. Thanks to Shemat's remarkable victory last time out, the Europeans are just hanging in there. Back in 1994, Lou Butera led the States to the inaugural Moscone title. Down he goes! The Americans have done it. It's been a tremendous competition. In 1995, two snooker stars took the Americans by surprise. Alex Higgins and Jimmy White sneaking a late-night win straight out of the comic books. It's a kind of magic! He's got to hit the two first. Even James Joyce couldn't have thought of that one, but Alex did! To one nine, this will shake the rough dance. It's it's in. In. Yeah! They won! Oh, what a way to do it! We could be about 11 yeah. seconds. You can count it now, Sid. Jimmy's done it. Thanks to the whirlwind. The following year in 1996, the USA took revenge, selling a full strength team. And again in 97, the US rammed home their advantage. The Americans have done it. They've retained the Moscone Cup. The dream team from America has dismissed the valiant British and European team. In 1998, the series went 4-1 USA. At 12-7, the 1999 score looks emphatic, but the matches were closer than they look. Arms in the air, the victory dance can start now. The Scotty Cup is retained by the USMA. And in 2000, the gunslingers are on the streets looking for action. The Scorpion met up with Romford Slim. Scorpion, Slim, what have you brought me here for? This time our mob settles this dispute once and for all. What do you have in mind? Nine ball pool, the ultimate test. Winner take the territory? Yeah, do you want some? And in 2000, there have been several close matches. So here goes Engert of Germany and Europe versus Strickland, the captain of the USA, to see if we continue or finish here and now. Here is John McDonald in the East End of London. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the legendary York Hall. Metro Sport proudly present the Moscone Cup. Europe fight back. It's 11 to 9 for the USA. Let's meet Team USA's captain. He is currently the US Open champion for a record fifth time. Former champion of the world, it can only be El the Pearl
And now, ladies and gentlemen, representing Team Europe, the pride of Germany, the smiler, Thomas Engel. Well, and oh, he only, only gets better down here in Bethnal Green. Uh, the American captain, a man of many think the greatest nine baller of all time, El Strickland, comes to the table looking to nail his game and take the Moscone Cup. He's up against a brilliant shot maker in Angat. But I've got to say that sometimes Angat gets out of position. He has occasionally lost right. position, Jim. He USA can't three. gift Earl a snidge. The stage is set. Could the script have been written any better, Sid? Earl Strickland in his first year of captaincy, here with a chance to secure the Moscone Cup for the USA. He's been cracking the whip up in the, uh, the American practice room, making the lads practice, 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 and more practice breaks practice shots he's racked up 40 odd times for the likes of Jones and now he's got to walk the walk having talked the talk well like a mystery novel this one will unfold and the final ending the final chapter yet to be written Great open pot, that one on the two from Strickland. Nicely on to the three. And the pink four, not in the easiest position for which Earl can be able to attack it, even in potting this three. But you're looking at arguably the best single shot maker on the planet. Came from a farming background in North Carolina became a money player in Kentucky, Lexington. Five times world champion, won a million dollars in 35 minutes in April 96. You name it, Earl's done it. This would be yet another amazing feather. Oh, bubbled! That's the one thing that the European side and the crowd can hope for. If Strickland misses the odd pot, he can become unraveled. He is finally wound. A genius, yes. Right, thank you. But he walks a tightrope. Absolutely self-hypnotized. It's as though he's looked in the mirror for half an hour and got into a zone of concentration. But even he can make sort of elementary errors. As a stress, a stress. Hang it. Must cash in on gifts like this, but must not in his shot making lose position. And has he got that cue ball enough into the center of the table to leave this pink four on? He's had a quick look at it. It certainly looks close from where we're sat. Only just. Pink four. That's what, exactly what Thomas needs. And he's well short of speed there. The six at the bottom end of the table, as you can see. And he's the wrong side of the five to get on the six. I said, he couldn't afford to lose position. There is the Euro captain, Rolf Sukail, with an old fashioned look. 
and that error by fellow German Angert. And could Ralph Suke be thinking about who he's going to put out next if Ingert does secure the point here and force it to 11-10? The captains will have to decide who comes out to play. But Ingert in a spot of bother right now. He could pocket this ball. We've but seen him lose. Come, sorry, Jim. We've seen him go off track like this half a dozen times throughout the tournament. It offers no positional rewards. And he sacrificed the pot. A huge error. Thank you. Hello uh, was in there like a snake on a nest of baby cuckoos. He just leapt in. He doesn't think he... He comes to the table like nobody else. He races there and he races around. He's so imbued with his own confidence and his own talent. Self-confessed, playing better than anyone in the world right now. The simple nine and the first rack to the USA. Both of them had a kick at it. In the end, America laughs last. One nil to Strickland. It's a race to five. And will the American captain be the last man on center stage for USA? Just delicately checking the equipment. In the zone, focus, the American captain. Interestingly said, Jim, in an interview, I knew that one day if I stayed on this team, I would end up captain of the team. He is sometimes choosing excellent picks of men to put out against the Euro team. Also, he's forced them to practice their guts out. The European Second side came Europe out, showed great. so much Joined grit and heart in this one this year. Strickland, I feel, has made choices that have been worthy of a captain. Yep. And Engert to break. Has to try and maintain some momentum here. One down, cue ball Stretch. down, disaster. Thomas has the adrenaline flowing right now, and he's lost control of it. He can't afford to give gift material to Strickland. He can't. Just slightly overran that. He can still get to this five, clip it into the bottom left. The natural angle takes the white back up for the six. Didn't want that. Didn't want to contact the six anxious moment there for Strickland. Absolutely. As it is though, flicks in the green. Um, Browns hanging on the draw. Black's easy. Strickland could be the two zip in no time at all. Like a predator, he stalks the balls when he walks around the table. Prowls like a leopard, has the eyes of a hungry lynx. And the mentality of a street assassin. You need that in this game. Nine down, 2-0 to the USA. Earl steals the break from Engert. And Thomas Engert has to try and put this right. And he has to do it in a hurry. The race to five, and Thomas Ingert right now is suffering. A player alone with his thoughts. One of the loneliest spots that we see that on the planet this, is we see that swallow that nearly bobbled his Adam's apple out. He is as tense as a tick, he is uptight. And I'm sad to say that Earl is not Earl. Earl's pace to the pitch is what impresses me. Uh, he he doesn't hang about if they're easy to hit. He has no doubt at all in his execution ability. Cue ball in. 
and just about everything else. Well, that's turned it right over. A guilt-edged opportunity for Thomas Engert. Another look at this break. Earl totally mishit that white. McKenna Tab, the ref, asking the crowd for good order. Just a blink and a little wave of the wand. I don't think you'll see Thomas Engert fail here. It's a race to five. The Moscone Cup climax and our 11 9 at the USA lead. 12 and you win. A simple oh, nine. Oh, yes. Worked the line back past the nine beautifully. This then. Full back to one. To one it is. The hand up. Angered knows there's a long ways to go in this one. He has to maintain that momentum. Keep his concentration. Bob the Builder and his gang say, can we fix it? Yes, we can! That's the European feeling. Up there, Alison Fisher, top world pool player. And on the right, Helka, whose lad, Thomas Engert, is tussling right. out here Europe on the pitch with Germany Earl Strickland. Yes, and the Americans teetering slightly. Engert at the table, 2-1 in arrears. But I can tell you folks, finally poised the scoreline 11-9 in favor of the USA. And Europe hasn't been this close since 1996, where they eventually went down 15-13. Lots of things have changed in the Moscone Cup over the years, but the European heart hasn't. The Americans need one more point, only one more game to take the Moscone Cup. 12 points, what you're after. Angert has not dropped sweetly on the one. Choice of attacking or running with the cue ball and looking at Thomas's eyes. He's sorting out where he wants to take that white, so this is going to be safety. You saw him willing that cue ball over, and I can tell you, he does have it hidden. Strickland's going to have to masse around the nine. Eminem and the captain sit here, watching every roll of every ball. Strickland, pool genius, the American captain. Surveying. This, like Captain Cook in the far out Pacific, wondering if the island would be friendly or hostile. What's the option, Jim? Well, right now, Earl just wants to get a thick contact. He's gonna have to masse around that nine. And this is control. Now he's left it. He's left it on. That was always the danger. And this match has completely swung back in the favor of the Europeans. Well, he's a great, great shot maker. Occasionally he makes position errors, but quite capable of whistling through these colors from one to nine. Well, I can tell you, said young Marcus Schmatt said he had never seen anything like this. He's played all over the world. Angert will have the same story. Two rookies in the Euro team. Schmatt has delivered the goods. 
if Enger does, we get to 11-10. Then the fun would start, or what? Then we hit overtime. Engert with an acute angle, two into the center. Making his shots with confidence. <laughs> Captain and fellow German, Suke will like his shape and his style. Wisely working out the plan before the execution. The big shot comes now. And I think what Thomas is going to do is try and draw this back to play the green bottom right. Bottom right hand spin in the cue ball. Side cushion. Back down the left hand side of the green. Oh, Didn't geez. want that. <sighs> Miss hit that one, Sid. It's taken him out of position. He didn't get into that white the way he wanted to. He'll be the first to tell you. You can see he came up very quickly, didn't he, off the cue? Yeah, he wanted to be a foot or so the line south of that black. Now, again, got to run for cover. Just try and wiggle that green in behind the eight and take the cue ball over in behind the brown seven. It's about a half ball hit with a bit of side. He's gone for the bank and it's and he's there. Got it. How do you spell relief? <laughs> Just watch this replay. And that's how you retrieve position. What a game. What a game. Looking good for 2-2. Two, two. Well, I mean, I've got to remind you, Shumatsu rookie, first time in the Moscone. He won against Jones. This is Thomas Engert's first out in for Europe. He's taken on the best player. In the world, some would argue, some would say a friend race, but Strickland, some opponent. Into the heart of the pocket. And the important thing from Thomas Engert is he's going for the shots. He hasn't changed his game, and that's why he finds himself 2-2 with the legend Strickland. And right now, Earl Strickland has it all to do. The momentum right in the corner of the Europeans and Thomas Engert. And who will be playing next should Strickland go down? Well, good bet. The man at the table, the Scorpion, he's not hitting balls for fun. Absolutely, Jim. Well put. He knows what could happen on this big match table downstairs. Could mean he has to be in trim. There's Jeremy Jones. Got beat. Oh, boy, He's still really enjoying every inch of the Moscone Cup. Still breaking the ball so well is Strickland. Can he get through to the two? He has to be able to see this because he's got to get that white, the opposite end of the table for the red three. Break Q back, playing Q in hand. Thank you. Kayla Tab, senior ref. Gets hush with just a flick like the queen of a hand. Masse in around the edge. The jump shot, missed the five. If he can see the three, this is a great shot from Strickland. Jumped over the edge of the five with bottom. He can get through to this. Just feather, feather it into the corner and stay at the same end of the table for the pink four next. Feather it is. Oh! It didn't want to go in. And then it went in. Settle down, please. I think Earl telepathed that in. It bubbled. 
It's looking good and strong for 3-2. Stress again. If Earl wins this game. He and the lads from America hoist the trophy. Well, for, Ickle, for Strickland to take the seventh man from Europe, that's the crowd out of the game. This is what he has to do. Eight and nine for a three-two lead. Around the angles. Just a quick flick with the chalk. And it's three-two. And so important for Earl right now to stay on break because he knows that even if it goes to a decider, he'll be breaking off with the controls in his hand. 3-2 to the Americans. And two massive racks away from retaining the Moscone Cup. The crowd cheering on Thomas like a tank engine. Almost a form of self-hypnosis there, Sid. Absolutely, in both their eyes. But there's also, in the movement of the eyes, reflected the extreme tension here at York Hall. As meaningful as anything that either of these players will ever joust in here is the Moscone Cup. Its significance paramount in the nine ball pool world. Can he get through to the one? And does it pass bottom right? Rookie in the team. Won a host of titles throughout Europe, hang it. Great, great shot maker. But it's almost a consequence. Sometimes risks losing position. Looking at the yellow one. He's missed it. He's flicked it. Oh, he, he missed. Enter the backup. That seven ball, that brown seven looming very large. We see it again. Well, Strickland already provided one jump shot. He can't play that shot here. He'd have to go right over the center of the seven. And from the center of the table, he can't get on top of the cue ball well enough. So this is going to be a kick. Can he get through to the side cushion enough to be able to try and feather this one in? If Earl was left-handed, this shot would be a lot easier. And guess what? I thought he was going to play that left-handed. He's got to try and massay this around that seven and just flick that one in. He leads, he leads 3-2, and he is trying to maneuver this white around the brown. Oh, he'll be delighted with that. The long two. And bring the cue ball back down towards the three, so he'll go for this. It offers all the rewards that you could ask. He's just picked his spot for where he wants to leave the white in relation to the red three. To you or me, that's just a piece of blue base. To him, it is like a map of the human blood system. He is weighing up every millimeter of the track to the blue two, and then the path of the white to the vicinity of the red three. Was never gonna be easy. Well, he's looking at the three onto the nine, or is it the three onto the five? Because if that nine goes, it almost looks like the three nine is on here. And you can see that nine just passes the five, and that's what Earl's looking at. You well, don't have to question his heart. But what a moment 
to try a shot like this. He knows if he misses it, he'll be sealing the rack and giving it right over to Engert. And there's an awful lot in his way here. Yep, heavy traffic. Precision plus, look at the room. Barely room for that nine. He'd have to hit this so well. Yeah, but he is a genius. And so the shot he's looking at, just keep your eyes glued to the nine. Well, well, I'll tell you one thing. Anger, on, maybe. Anger will be going after the nine. Will he ever? Will he ever? He trails 3-2. If the Americans take this game, the Moscone Cup's theirs again. Uh, and it just weighing up the dog leg change of angle. Red to orange to nine in the pocket for three apiece. Tension mounting by the second at your goal. And Thomas wants to be sure. I think Strickland exercised a little bit of anxiety in attempting that. It was a very difficult shot Earl took on. And Thomas doesn't want to make the same mistake. Got to be sure. Two changes of He's angle. Going for it with the cue ball. Up! And she is suffering along with her man. Another look at it. Just clipped the three a little too thin. You couldn't want more excitement and tension. If the Americans win this game, they get the silverware. The great Moscone himself would be looking down on this with pride, Sid. I <laughs> love it. Strickland now. Looks like he's taking the cue ball down to the nine. And he has parks the nine, 4-2 to the Americans. And just one rack between them and the promised land. 4-2, the USA over Europe. The Gladiators in the forum right now. Thomas Engert for Europe and Earl Strickland for USA. 4-2, the Americans lead. And just one narrow rack away from securing the Moscone Cup yet again. And what's more, Sid, the pearl set to break. Yeah. When he came out of the ice there, he was a one-off. Uh, the Pearl Strick and the American captain looking to take the Moscone Cup in this rack of balls. How's he looking on the blue two? I think he's looking sweet as a nut. He's got the two on, the long two, but the three is at the wrong end of the table for Earl. You can see the path to victory for Strickland. Just off straight, this is gonna be a deep screw shot back for the red three. Hitting the extreme bottom of the cue ball. How's his run to the red? No good. Yes. Not enough. A couple more paragraphs yet to be written in this one. Now Strickland can easily leave Thomas Engert with a lot to think about now when he departs the table. A rookie in the team, Thomas Engert. First time out for Europe against some say not agree the greatest nine ball player ever. Strickland. Right now, the situation facing Engert is dire. He's a he's great got shot maker. He's got to start producing some magic here, Sid. To stave off elimination, 
Engert has to win this match. There's no tomorrow for Europe. And we've had an awful lot of yesterdays. Oh, I... oh you... Sonia! Thomas Engert may well have played his last shot in the 2000 Moscone Cup. Everything in the open. Can Strickland mop it up? We've seen them dance and bond. And one year, it's almost like a pitch invasion. <laughs> After the last hit, the Americans will be gathering in the wings to take flight. If Earl negotiates this lot the way he can, as we know, me and Jim White, they are waiting there. There's no one practicing anymore. They're anticipating the win. This is a big shot here. He traveled a little further than he wanted to with this. He's got the angle to bring the cue ball down to the seven, but it's not natural. Coming in deep and low on the ball. And, oh yes. Oh, he yes. waited there. Oh, yes, the American captain about to deliver the thrust, the pis aller, the last twist in this year's Moscone. This is a dream for Strickland. It would cap off a brilliant season for him. Yeah, five or six years ago, Mike Massey said Earl Strickland was the greatest on the planet. He then was traveling so much, he was tired and jaded. It's been rumored and proven, I think, this week that he's back to that genius best. And he's reveled in the captaincy of the American team. Call it in, Jim. This nine. Thank you. It's there, and Earl Strickland in his first year as captaincy. The emotion, everything pouring out. The Americans on center stage. He has secured the Moscone Cup once again. USA take it across the Atlantic. Europe have only won it once. We had a very, very strong Euro team who come into the arena now. But the American huddle, like they do with the Super Bowl, means America retain the Moscone Cup. They had to dig deep this year, Sid. They had to go down where they may not have gone before. Europe forced them, pushed them to the brink. And when the goods had to be produced, that talented team from America produced it. There's the silverware. It will be hoisted finally by Earl of the Pearl Strickland, the captain. A very proud man. He won a million dollars in 35 minutes at pool once. But this will be a moment of intense pride for Earl Pearl. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to join our presentation party, the chairman of Matrim Sport, Mr. Barry Hearn. So let's welcome our runners up. Team Europe, led by their captain, the Kaiser, Ralph Suke. <laughs> Steve Davis, Mika Ilman, Thomas Engel, Steve Knight, and Marcus Schumann. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the winning team from the USA, and the winners are the color team, Moscone Cup, sponsored by Acclaim Entertainment, Team USA, led by Earl the Pearl Strickland. <laughs> Corey Joel, Shannon Dalton, Double J, Jeremy Jones, Johnny Archer, and the train, Michael Coltrane. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our presenter, Mark Johnson-Aller. 
Thank you very much, Sean. First of all, I want to speak to the man that invented this tournament. It's been a great year, hasn't it? This, this event just gets bigger and better, and you know, all credit to the players on both teams to make it such a special four days, but the biggest thanks goes to the crowd. They've been amazing for the whole four days. Uh, I don't want these guys have got to do to win, but what we do know is every year Europe's getting better, they're getting stronger, it's getting a bigger game. And you know, these guys are going to have a real tough struggle to retain this title next year. We know that, and we'll be coming back here again. Barry, step forward a second. This, this is what it's all about, the Moscone Cup, this very special trophy, and there is one very proud man in this arena this evening, representing his country, along with six tremendous players. Ladies and gentlemen, Earl Strickland, Team USA! need to speak to you. You've done it. You had to work extremely hard, harder than you thought. I'm just proud of these guys. They, they, we were a team. They played well. They listened to my instructions. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time in my life, I had all their undivided attention. <laughs> and you worked them hard as well, didn't you? Always on the practice table. I'm gonna tell you what, I worked my butt off. I don't know if I wanna be the captain again. It's a, it's a harder job than I really thought. I tried to get everybody ready. I was neglecting my own game. These guys know that. But uh, I was probably playing, I'm, I'm playing really well coming into the event. And I didn't mind neglecting my game a little bit because uh, the captain is here for moral support entirely. He's a player, but morally he has to be there for him too. And uh, I'd just like to say, this team is the most difficult team we ever faced. It was, it was, I really believe that. I don't care. S Steve Davis is getting better and better. I mean, that guy there, unbelievable. Barry Hearn, I want to make a, a, a great thanks to Barry Hearn. If it wasn't for Barry Hearn, this event wouldn't be here. Give him a great round of applause. I want to thank the fans also. You guys are the loudest fans I've ever heard. So the great silver trophy stays in the USA, and after seven years, the USA leads the series 6-1. But yet again, the acclaimed Moscone Cup has produced some of the best nine-ball pool ever televised.